One of the most important concepts to understand in a database, and FileMaker as well, are found sets. It's what differentiates a database and FileMaker from a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet like Excel works great, but all the data is in one big screen. You can scroll through it, but what a database can do is say, I only want to look at this information. I only want to look at the people with the last name of Osborne, or the people in California, or who knows what criteria you might want to look at. It helps you to filter that data so you can look at less of it. it makes it very easy to work with. You can do reports, you can print out things, you can export, you can do all kinds of things by whittling down your found set to just what you want to look at. So let's try it out. It's pretty easy. We're going to hit the Find button up here in the toolbar. And you'll see what happens is it goes into a mode called Find Mode. Before you were in Browse Mode, that's Data Entry. So we went into Find Mode by clicking that. And the way you can tell you're in Find Mode is by going up to the View menu or noticing that there's little magnifying glasses in these fields when you're not clicked into them. And what I'm going to do is type in an O. And I'm not going to let it complete my entry. I'm just going to put an O in there. And let's see what happens when I do a find for O. I'll hit the perform find now that I'm ready to go. And you see it's found three records, one, two, three. If we walk through them using the Rolodex, we can see each of these people all have a last name beginning with O. But I can't go any further. There's 102 records, right? Remember, we entered two records and imported 100. But we're only looking at three of them right now. In fact, you can switch over to a different layout simply by going here and doing this. Now we're in what's called a list view and you can see it has a special icon right here. It shows you a little bit of information about each record. You can see each of the three records at once. And if you go with the Rolodex, you'll see what happens. It highlights each one, right? Now if we go back into our details, we see we have a different icon here and we're looking at one record at a time but a lot more information. In fact, if you're developing a solution, you don't want to people to really to see this, you know, these uh, choices here. They could get confusing, especially since you have tablet layouts and phone views and things like that. They're all different. You want them to have, you know, have an easy time using it so you can make a script that automates that process of going between each mode or each form versus list view. So it makes it really easy. So you can, we're not going to do scripting right now, but that's how you'd automate that process. But inside this template, it's already been done for you and scripted. So let's try a little bit different find. Let's go ahead and do a find for Osborne. I'll type in O-S-B-O-R-N-E. Notice that I can type the whole thing in and locate just that one person, one out of 102, because there's only one person with that exact name. But I can type just the beginning, the O, and find just the O names, or I can type OS or OSB. Any portion of that criteria I can put in there. What I can't do is type in a B and find Osborne. You'll notice if I come in here and type in BOR and perform the find, it's not going to find anything because it has to search from the beginning of the word. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and take a look at a different type of find. We've, at this point, done just one criteria. Let's try two criteria. Let's type a J, and then we'll type an O over here. So anything that has J in the first name and O in the last name. Let's see what we find here. Now, we only find one person, but it could have found multiple people. But it's got to be both those criteria match. Now, if I go in here and do a find and type in J into the first one, and then do a new request, and then type an O into the second request. What we're going to do is find anybody who has a last name of O, or begins with O, or, not and, or anybody who has a first name that begins with J. So let's see what happens here. We'll perform the find. And you notice we find nine people. Let's look at our contact list. You can see all the different people we found. There's Gina, James, James, Josephine. You can see all the O's now. So it's found on either piece of criteria. Whereas if we come over here and perform a find a different way, where we put in J and O in the same record, then it has to match both those on the same record. So it's important to understand the difference between an AND find and an OR find. And I find an example shows you best.
So there's how you do your basic finds, your ands and your ors. Those are the two most common types of finds. So study them, watch this video a couple of times, make sure you understand it, and try these things out on your example. Try some different and and or finds to see what the results come up, because that's really the best way to really understand how those two different finds work.